Okay, today we're going to talk about how to use the microscope properly and also identify the parts of the microscope. We have the different parts written down here on the board so that way you have spelling right in front of you so there's no reason why you misspell the proper term. Now these are the microscopes we're using in the classroom this year. Okay, so just to go over the different parts of the microscope. We have this eyepiece here that's known as the ocular lens. Okay, the ocular lens actually magnifies the image that you're looking at. Um, for this part, it's, it's 10x written there, meaning the ocular lens actually magnifies the image 10 times. Because of the ocular lens here and the lenses here, this is called a compound microscope. There's multiple lenses that are being applied. So you have the ocular lens, then you have this part here called the body tube. The part that jets out is known as the nose piece, and that's where you're able to turn. And you turn these three lenses. These are known as the objective lenses. Now, for our microscopes, we have three objective lenses. We have a four times magnification, a ten time magnification, and a forty time magnification. So in reality, when you're looking at an image, it's actually 40 times magnification because of the 4 and, times, and the 10 times. When you're using the, 100, the 10 times magnification, it's actually 100 times larger because of the 10 times objective lens and the 10 times ocular lens. And our largest objective lens is 40 times magnification, which is actually 400 times because of the 40 and the 10. We have this square known as the stage, where the magic happens. It's where you plus your specimen. Attached to the stage, you have these metal doohickeys called stage clips. Okay, beneath that, there's a revolving piece. And that controls how much light gets to the microscope. That is called the diaphragm. When you hold the microscope, you hold it in two hands. The bottom hand is holding what's called the base of the microscope, and the other hand is holding what's called the arm. So when you carry a microscope, it should always be one hand on the arm, one on the base. You have two sets of knobs. The larger knob actually moves the body tube up and down. That's called the coarse adjustment knob. You utilize this knob to try to focus the image. The smaller knob is called the fine adjustment knob. This is a knob you will not really use too much. It's used more for higher magnification. And we don't want you using the 40 times magnification lens unless directed to because there's a good chance you may crack the slide by having it go down too low. Okay, so the, the coarse adjustment knob allows you kind of to focus because the by tube in position, in the fine adjustment knob, it just kind of focuses that. Now, what you'll be using has two different light sources, okay? We have either a mirror that you just bend the light into the, to get to the body tube, or we have the electric portion where this plugs into the microscope here and just plug it in. That's so how you have the electric light. So those are the parts of the microscope. Now to properly use the microscope, okay, you have your slides. Now you place the slide on the stage. And you look at it, so under the four times magnification, and make sure you center the specimen on the stage in the upright position. And then you would focus using the coarse adjustment knob. If you need to move the image upward, you have to do the opposite. So in order to move, get the image to move up, you actually slide the slide downward. If you needed to move to the left, you actually would move it to the right to see it. Okay? And this is something that we're going to be doing next week, but it's important to understand how to use a microscope properly and identify the parts of the microscope. Thank you.